Hey, this is Sharon, and in this episode, I want to talk to you about the concept of the unlimited budget. Yeah, the unlimited budget. And no, it has nothing to do with money. This has to do with a choice, a choice of making a commitment that you have no idea how it's going to impact your life and change your future, change the very financial bloodline of your family forever. I want to talk to you about exactly how I have made choices on unlimited budgets and how you can do the same. And it all starts right now. One thing is for certain, just because it's tried and true doesn't mean it's working right now. So the big question is this, where can you learn what is working right now? The strategies, the tactics, the psychology, and the exact how to, how to grow your business, how to blow up your personal brand and supercharge your personal growth. That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answer. My name is Sharon Srivatsa, and welcome to Business School. I'm really excited to talk to you about this concept of the unlimited budget. And you may be thinking, well, what is this unlimited budget? <laughs> like, how can anybody have an unlimited budget? And uh, the big part about this is the word unlimited. What it does is it says, hey, there is no limit. There is uh, a, a no cap. There is complete abundance on this very topic. And that is what I want to share with you today. Now, it's very easy for a lot of people to say, well, I have an unlimited budget for my children. Well, you don't. Like (laughs) Those are the people that say, no, Neil, you can't have that. That's too expensive, right? I've seen that. And we always say that we always do the cliche thing. Well, you know, uh, my big why is my kids. My number one is my family. But (laughs) we don't ever hang out with our kids and we don't ever see our family. But it's what society tells us is our big why. But when you say something in your life has a something unlimited, like an unlimited source of energy, an unlimited budget, it puts a sense of power and constraint and creates this abundance in your life that is un, almost irreplaceable. So uh, in this episode, I want to break down for you my this these three key topics, the th- three key topics that I think about often, and they are growth, scale, and mastery. I want to tell you about exactly how I think about them and overlay this concept of the unlimitedness, if you will, and see if there is one shift that you can have, that you can employ, that you can install from this episode that can completely change your life forever. So let's talk about growth, scale, and mastery, right? Those are the three things that I want to overlay this concept of an unlimited budget on. And all of this goes back to, I think this was um, at least 20 years ago. And I was just starting out and, and we were sitting, uh, I, I remember this event vividly. We were sitting at a table and um, the question around the table that everybody had to answer, there were like eight of us, I think, at an event. And it says, you know, what will you do if you got a million dollars right now? What would you do if you got a million dollars right now? And as you may imagine, people in there, like I think I was 20 at the time, you had a wide variety of answers. You said, oh, I'll just pay off some debt. I'll save some money. I'll pay off my student loans, et cetera. And I remember vividly what I said. And I said, I would take the million dollars and I would pay Tony Robbins to coach me. I, I, I said it without hesitation. I was the only one at that table that said that. And there's a reason for this. And let's actually go into the reason for one quick second. For those of you who don't know, uh, my first job when I was in college was I had the midnight to 6 a.m. shift, uh, scrubbing toilets and being doing janitorial stuff. And I remember this because the, I, I was, you know, I was not fluent in, in American, as they say. And uh, my head janitor told me that he's like, hey, Sharon, if you want to work on your language skills, just go get uh, some uh, language tapes from the library. Well, I went to the library And they didn't have any English language tapes. They had French and German and Spanish, but they didn't have any English language tapes. What they had was uh, books on tape. So the librarian gave me a couple of books on tape. And so the first book, I was like, fine. So I took the book. And in my first shift, I started listening to it. 
And little did I know what that book was. That book was Tony Robbins' Personal Power. So if you ever meet me live, you'll know that I tend to get excited and uh, my voice will go up an octave and I generally sounds like I'm yelling, but I learned how to speak American English <laughs> by listening to Tony Robbins yell on this audiobook. And the point was I learned the English language and, uh, you know, the, the, the underpinnings of personal growth while learning, while scrubbing toilets. And I, I knew that at that time there was something that Tony said, he said, you know, to coach with Tony, it was a million dollars plus equity in his business. And there was like a 10 year wait list. And I was like, wow, if I had a million dollars and Tony Robbins could just coach me, I like, it would change my life. And that's when it really clicked for me. That's when I knew that it is important to have unlimited budgets on certain things. So let's talk about the first area that I wanted to share with you, which is growth. Growth for me is everything. So if you, if I, let me ask you this question. So let's say you looked in your life and let's say nothing changed. Let's say you were put, you know what you know now, and you just had to go back 10 years in your life, but you have, you're, you're this, you, everything is the same 10 years ago, but you have today's experiences. Would you do better? Of course. Of course you would do better, right? Because you know something today that you didn't know 10 years ago. And that comes from growth. And I believe that in, in my opinion, I have an unlimited budget for growth. And you may be wondering like, what is unlimited budget? To me, uh, learning, both personal growth and professional growth, learning has an unlimited budget and experiences have an unlimited budget. If I see an experience or uh, learning that I can get, that I really want to do, I, I, there is no price tag for it. If I want to do it, the answer is just, how do I do it? That's all it is. Can I do it? How do I do it? There's an unlimited budget for it. It's not that, hell, I only have 10% of my annual income in growth. No, there's an unlimited budget for, for learning in, in, in my life. And I'll tell you how this came about. Um, a lot of personal stories here. I have my mom to thank for this. My mom would, you know, I, I would be the nagging child where whenever we go to a store, I would ask for toys and candy and all of that. I remember this vividly when I was a kid and my mom would say, no, I mean, she just flat out, no, but she never said no. When I asked for a book. My, she never said no when I asked for a book. And one day I realized that I could start with a toy. She would say no. I could ask for more toys. She would say no. I would then throw a tantrum and I would ask for candy. Then she would say no. And then finally I would ask for a book and I knew she'd say yes and I would win. But over the years, I realized when my mom said, we have an unlimited budget for books. You can buy whatever book you want, as many as you want. And that was my first introduction to this concept of just the unlimited budget. And I have my mom to thank for this because without that, we were not very well off. Like we were a middle-class family. But my mom said she created this concept of this unlimited budget in me. And that's when I learned to say, okay, wow, there is going to be an unlimited budget in my life for learning. And that changed my life. Like I, I have spent more on learning and experiences than almost anyone that I know. In fact, I've spent 30 to a hundred thousand dollars for one day of, of, uh, coaching and mentoring with people. Um, I've spent tens of thousands of dollars on trips, uh, for, you know, to curate the experiences that I've gone on by myself without my family. Right. Because they were all, because I wanted to get certain experiences. Now this has got nothing to do with judgment around it. I chose that in my life, I'm going to have an unlimited budget for experiences. But then something happened recently in the last five, 10 years. And based on how I worked in the hustle and grind, I pushed my body too hard and my body broke down. And not a lot of people in the health community was able, were able to solve what was going on in my body. So I realized that the only way I could get the best level of care and I would have no life without a great physical body to work with that there needs to be an unlimited budget for my health. So when in the category of growth in my life, there's an unlimited budget for health and there's an unlimited budget for learning. That's it, period, end of story. That's it. 
So if, if my health coach, Justin calls and says, Hey, Sharon, I want you to get these three tests. I'm like done. It doesn't matter if he thinks they're important. They're important. And it doesn't matter how much they cost because I, we have an unlimited budget for health and an unlimited budget for learning. That's the growth component. Now let's talk about the scale component scale. Uh, a lot of people kind of are unsure about this idea of scale. And let me tell you how I define it. To me, scale is having a formula for a proven formula for growing something. That's all it is. So that is where there is, there is no upper bound. If you know that you can scale something, that means you know that there is a formula in place and it just happens and happens and happens and happens and happens. That's how powerful big companies are built. Scale is when, when you've kind of figured out that formula. And I will never forget this. So let me tell you about key point number two is how do you deploy un, the un, unlimited thinking when it comes to scale? Many of you know uh, and have heard me talk about my partner, Peter. Peter is a great friend and mentor to me. And uh, we've, we've been partners, you know, two decades, have built several companies together, uh, you know, lost a couple companies together. And he's been with me through thick and thin, an advisor to me, a friend of my family, and he's fantastic. And I will never forget this. Uh, we were going to invest in this fund and I get on a, I get on a, you know, I, I do diligence on the deal and Peter and I get on this call and we're on this call together on a conference call. And the person on the other end of the phone asks, he says, well, what are you guys thinking about investing? And I'm about to say something and Peter just uh, pauses me. And he says, and he says these words. He says, if the deal is a good fit for us and a good fit for you, you can assume we have unlimited capital. Say it again. Peter said, if the deal is a good fit for us and is a good fit for you, you can assume that we have unlimited capital. I hit mute on the phone and I was like, what are you talking about? He goes, don't worry about it, right? I have never heard pin drop silence on the other side of a phone. This is what he said. If the deal is a good fit for us and it's a good fit for you, you can assume that we have unlimited capital. That day was the day that it completely blew my mind on having this abundance mentality that we can invest in anything if the deal is a good fit for us and a good fit for them. Now, it may seem like it makes sense, but I will tell you there are deals where I have not been able to raise the cash because I knew in my heart of hearts that it wasn't the right fit. There's never been, not once, have ever been a time, either for personal capital or syndicated capital, that we've never not been able to raise whatever we had needed if it was a good fit for us and a good fit for them. I will never forget it that the, those words that Peter said. He says, if the deal is a good fit for us and a good fit for you, you can assume we have unlimited capital. And the, I never thought I would ever have the courage to say that, but this completely goes into this concept of understanding this unlimitedness. The unlimitedness just gives you the power to say, it gives you the abundance mentality to look openly and see, well, what is available to me here? Because I know if the deal is a good fit for us and a good fit for them, you can assume that we have unlimited capital. Super cool, right? So that's two out of the three topics. Number one, talked about growth, where we have unlimited budget for learning and unlimited budget for health. Number two, we talked about scale, where we said, if the deal is a good fit for us and a good fit for them, we have unlimited access to capital. And number three, mastery. I am obsessed with mastery. I am obsessed with being a specialist at something, at many things. I'm obsessed at being, and at cracking that without the 10,000 hour rule. I know that a lot of people will spend the 10,000 hours and then become a master at something. I want to get to mastery in topics and ideas in my life without get doing the 10,000 hour rule. And I've realized the way to do that is to have somebody teach it to you. Now, I'll give you an example. Um, I used to, many of you know, I used to teach um, after playing on the pro tour for a little bit and not <laughs> doing as pro tennis tour, not doing as well as I wanted to do. I got beat by 14 year old Chilean kids and realized I was not as good as what I thought I was. I, I realized that I had a knack for two things. I realized I had a knack for uh, 
for for figuring out the biomechanics of a tennis serve and I figured out how to teach the tennis serve. So I'm, I have, I feel like I have mastery on the tennis serve. I can help anybody, uh, beginner, intermediate, collegiate, uh, club player, pro. I've helped multiple uh, professional tennis pros with their serves. I can get anybody to serve better because I have serve teaching mastery. And it's a very weird and strange skill, but I have serve teaching mastery, right? So the, the, the key component around that is to understand the, how I got that mastery. I, I, I got it because I had a couple of teaching pros who were really good at this and they taught, I saw them teach over and over again. In fact, I watched this one guy, his name is Dan Abishan. Dan is a super cool teaching pro. I saw him. I, I've seen Dan teach at least like 50, 60 private lessons. And he is just so gifted that I learned how to teach to serve just watching him teach. And something clicked one day. And I now can, I'm never going to be as good as Dan, but I am. Mastery doesn't mean you have to be the only. Mastery only means that you're, you, are, you are one of the best, right? I know that I can do that. So how did I do it? I saw Dan do it over and over and teach me over and over. And the same exact thing happened recently when it comes to Neil, my son, who's 10 years old, wanted to uh, figure out this one very specific part of playing in a center midfield role and how to do this footwork kick drill. And no one could really show him how he watched videos, et cetera. And finally, we found a, we found a pro soccer pro to teach him. and literally. Neil learned what he wanted to learn in under 15 minutes. In under 15 minutes, he learned exactly what he wanted to learn. He got mastery in under 15 minutes. There is no amount of books, courses, or YouTube videos that could have ever taught him that. Which is why if I ever want to learn something, if I'm ever serious, the books, the courses, and the YouTube videos that I do are just to test if I'm really committed to the topic, I'll say that again. Most people will try the books and the courses and the YouTube videos because they want to show their commitment on how much time they've spent trying to learn a certain topic. If you want to spend time learning a certain topic and hitting the 10,000 hour rule, you are crazy. The world doesn't have time to wait for you to hit the 10,000 hour rule to try and get mastery in a topic. You can try to knock yourself out and giving yourself the commitment of reading every book on a topic and watching every YouTube video on a topic. There is no time for that. My job, how I look at the world, and this is my personal view is, I want to use the books, the courses, and the YouTube videos or podcasts or whatever to see if I really want to learn this topic, to see if I, it really continues to fascinate and motivate me. And when I know it does, and when I know I'm in, as soon as I know I'm in, my job is to find the absolute expert in that field and completely download as much as I can so I can short circuit the 10,000 hours. now. Is that cheating? Sure. I'm not, I don't have the visceral 10,000 hours of like uh, school of hard knocks experience, but I'm going to be 100 times faster getting there than you are. I say you, meaning the person who's going to take the books, the courses and tries the easy, the, 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 the cheaper way out. Because to me, when someone talks, we, we think that doing the books, reading every book on the topic, doing every, watching every YouTube video on the topic, downloading a bunch of courses, we think we kid ourselves. We lie to ourselves that that is commitment. It's not about what you can afford. We lie to ourselves that that is commitment. Even if you got somebody to teach that to you who was mediocre at that topic, that will get you so much faster, so much farther than three years of books, courses, and videos, which is why I, I'll, I'll give you a really fun story. I have a course. It's called the Sales IQ. Uh, blows my mind, by the way. I have a course. It's called the Sales IQ. If you ever, if you ever want it, I, I don't think we sell it online, but just email team at Sharon.com and say you want the sales like you and they'll send you, uh, they'll send you the link for it. If it is a 23 minute video that I actually talk about how to sell anything online, it is probably my best training. It's, it sells for a thousand dollars. I've probably sold thousands of copies of it over the last many years. I have never, not once gotten one gotten even one person tell me that they didn't get full value from it. It is so crazy because it is one 23 minute video. 
these courses that have like all of these, uh, you know, these, 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 these 10 part video series and all of that is fine. But when someone wants something, it's just, how do we get it to them as fast as possible and give them everything right away? I tried to make that course, that 23 minute video, like what would I tell somebody if they hired me for consulting for 23 minutes? That's what I put in that video. I give them, I give, I give out exactly what, what it is. And that's why when it comes to mastery, I think about this concept of sniper mentors. A sniper is someone, as you all know, who's, who's sitting, laying, waiting. <sighs> Focusing on their breath, waiting to their target, and then taking that target out. They're so specific and so accurate in their aim. I don't want, I want someone who has been there and done that specific thing And I will work with them as long as as possible because the level of mastery that that person has is unbeatable. A sniper mentor is somebody that can change your life forever by getting you to mastery without you having to do the 10,000 hour rule and doing, getting all the pain in the process. I have an unlimited budget for sniper mentors. Unlimited budget for sniper mentors. If I want to learn something, I want to do whatever it takes to find the best person in that world and spend as much time as possible downloading all the tens of thousands of hours that they've spent doing that so that I can completely short circuit that. Again, it's just me, right? Because it's this concept of unlimited budget allows me to feel more abundant when I do this. In fact, um, I've talked about this before. This is exactly why I record and I do a private podcast for the CEOs that I mentor and the entrepreneurs in my mastermind group. Every time I finish a call uh, with either one of the founders that we've invested in, one of the CEOs that we mentor, or one of our mastermind groups, and I get a deep insight, I immediately record it uh, and put it out to my clients in under 10 minutes. It's, this podcast is called 10K Wisdom. It is probably the best collection of uh, insights that you will ever get to. I don't publish it uh, publicly often. So if you have a chance, go to 10kwisdom.com. The idea is every single episode, will give you a $10,000 shift. So I was thinking in under 10 minutes, can I have every single episode provide a $10,000 shift? And if if I don't get that, I don't record the episode. 10kwisdom.com, from time to time, I open it up uh, for other people to get access to it. So check it out if if it's open now at 10kwisdom.com and you'll see all the episodes and exactly what the learnings and see if you can get a sniper mentor and short circuit your learning curve on all of this. So let me recap super quick for you. This is not about money. This has nothing to do with money. The concept of an unlimited budget has got nothing to do with money. It has got to do with thinking. It's got to do with a choice. You may, I'm I'm not saying that you need to have an unlimited budget today. I'm just saying that if you have the mindset of an unlimited budget, you have the mindset of commitment. That's all I'm trying to say. It has nothing to do with money and this just has to do with the choice. And if you've ever been to the 5 a.m. club, I always talk about this. It says greatness is a choice. The concept of an unlimited budget is not about the money. It's about making a choice. A choice that you want to do whatever it takes to succeed in that. It's a choice that you've made that shows your deep and utter commitment. Three areas that I talked to you about was growth, scale, and mastery. When it comes to growth, I talked about how I have an unlimited budget for health and learning. When it comes to scale, I talked about how my partner Peter talked to me about having this. He said, uh, if the deal is good for us and it's a good fit for you, you can assume we have unlimited access to capital, scale. And number three, mastery. If you want to really get mastery on any specific topic, instead of you having to do the 10,000 hour rule, and you short circuit that by hiring a sniper mentor and downloading everything from them, giving them the honor of sharing their journey with you because the unlimited budget is not about money. It's about a choice. It's about choice saying that you are deeply committed to delivering amazing happiness and joy for yourself in your life. Uh, I would love for you to do two things before I finish up, two things. Thing number one, there's got to be somebody that came to mind when you were listening to this episode Who's one person, just one person that you can share this episode with if you think that it can benefit them, right? And number two, just 
direct message me on Instagram or one of the social media platforms and say, hey, Sharon, I heard this unlimited budget episode. Here's what I am going to have an unlimited budget in. Here's how I am thinking about the unlimited budget concept. Tell me your unlimited budget um, so that we can hold each other accountable to an unlimited life and a life of abundance and a life of making a choice because we all know that greatness is a choice. Hey, Sharon, I have a cool gift for you. I took some of my best ideas from the last 20 years and created a five-day MBA. It's quick and action-packed that you can listen to on the go, just like this podcast. And I want to give it to you for free, just as a thank you for listening to the show. No fluff, no gimmicks, just pure actionable ideas for you to use instantly. You can grab it right now at businessschoolshow.com. That's businessschoolshow.com dot com.